Mm, hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you a quick example for a 2D 2D kinematic 2D vector calculation. And it's a very simple problem. Suppose I give you a, a trajectory function. Suppose any trajectory function, and for this example, only 2D trajectory functions. And uh, I want to find this trajectory function. I want to find. Hmm, I forgot to I forgot to write a what uh, a question what what you after for. So the problem is uh making it to in direction okay the question of a little position vector. Vector t equal to fifteen seconds. Okay, I give a trajectory function. I want to find out uh, what's the maximum and direction of position and vector at t equals to fifteen. Or I'm doing the same thing on um, velocity vector and acceleration vector. Vector all on the same at t equal to fifteen second. Okay, so it just give you the component of a vector x component and y component, and it's a function of time. Okay, yeah, like I say, in position vector, um, the component <coughs> x y z component they are not necessary. I yeah, not necessarily be a constant. It could, it could be function of time. So let's write down the position vector. Okay, x component. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this x component and its uh, unit vector is i, and y component is zero point two two t squared minus i over my t plus thirteen. Ah, oh, this is j. Okay, so so it's the first question is make the direction of position back at t equals to fifteen seconds. That's very simple. You just plug in the t the time into the position vector. So what do we get? So put t equal fifteen in there. So let me calculate. It's uh, fifteen square times zero point three one. Hmm. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, the x component is sixty to sixty six point two five i, and uh, y component is Negative fifteen, me fifty-seven. Is that correct? I calculate again. Okay, zero point two two. Ah, nine point one times fifteen plus thirty. Yes, minus fifty-seven. Okay, that's a position vector at time equal to fifteen at time frequent fifty seconds. And you want to find a magnitude and direction of position vector. The magnitude at uh, the 15 second, pretty easy. Okay, you all learn this. I believe you all learn this. Inch square is the square. So what's the value? What's the value? 60.27 square plus 15 square square root. Uh, that's eighty-seven point four. Okay, that's a magnitude. That's a magnitude. I suppose that I suppose this unit should be meter. <laughs> okay, with the MK system, just suppose we just everyone the uh, the length the unit of length is always meter. Okay, so look at the magnitude and the direction. What's the direction? So it's position vector. Let's draw a little bit. It's very rough. Not very accurate. Okay, so so it's the x direction is positive, y direction negative. That means it's on um, this quadrant, positive negative. So that means it's this quadrant. 
Okay, and let's uh, roughly draw. It's not very accurate. I think it doesn't. It just show you. It just show you the con concept. So, so the theta is here. Okay, so the tangent theta is uh sixty point four fifty seven. Okay, so uh so so what's the theta? Okay, use your calculator to calculate theta. You you have to first of all calculate the fifty seven over six sixty six sixty six point two five. Then using the arctangent function to find the value arctangent. Understand arctangent. Okay, if an engineering calculator should have arctangent function. So arctangent. So that's forty point seven degree. Okay, that's forty point seven degree. So that means this data is forty forty point seven degree. So it's uh how to say it's clockwise. Okay, clockwise. Okay, the theta is forty seven degree with with respect to the horizontal axis, but it's in um clockwise clockwise direction. Okay, that's the first one, and the second one is you want to do the same thing on the velocity vector. Mm -hmm. So, like I said, the velocity vector is the same. The velocity velocity vector um the velocity vector is the derivative of position vector with respect to t so we just do the derivative of the position vector so in this problem our coordinate is stationary that's why i'm not sorry you don't need to worry about the changing of the coordinate so we just do a derivative on each component so the derivative of it, of the component of the power function uh, in the class i'll show you that's a very simple rule um t n d t n over d t is equal to n times t and oh, sorry oh, sorry so this is simple the der derivative for power function i hope you can remember it first but sooner or later you will learn it in calculus class okay so if there is a constant in there okay we can just leave the constant factor the constant out so times the derivative of t to the power n so for this uh, uh for this uh, position vector let's see uh just write down the answer quickly t plus one point zero is i and what's a j 0 0.44 t minus 9.1 j okay that's the velocity vector so what's the magnitude and the direction of the velocity vector um let's see okay it's easy put the t equal to 15 in there hmm it's now it's easy okay, so that's three r uh, 15 times 0 0.62 times 1 plus 17.2 is minus 2.1 i plus 0 0.44 times 15 minus 9.1 oh minus minus 2.5 mm, j okay so what's the magnitude of this velocity vector okay let's do it again it's the square sum of the component and then do the square root okay so just use your calculator yeah in this class you can use when we will come to you bring the calculator we have those engineering calculation it's hard to engineering calculation is difficult to all calculate by hand okay because the number is not pretty <coughs> okay so it's a make two is the uh, uh, 3.26 and so what's the direction so let's draw it very uh yes very roughly okay same thing is because two dimension okay let's roughly draw the velocity vector it's uh, x component is minus and it's uh, y component is also minus so it's, <coughs> it should be in this quadrant so it should be in this quadrant so next this is 2.1 this 2.5 so that's the theta. So what's the theta? The tangent theta is 
one two point five over two point one. So what's the theta? So once again, use your calculator. You have arctangent function, okay? So it's it's very close to fifty. Yeah, very close to fifty. Yeah, let's just write this thing for 50 degree. <laughs> okay. So it's 50 degree um, uh, also respect to the horizontal axis. <coughs> okay, maybe more accurate. Yeah. For less problem, yeah, how to describe this. Um, so how to describe this, okay. So it's 45, 40, 0.7 degree here. That means that's. I think we must be unified. Use the the same <laughs> use the same language to describe the degree. Or it's 40.7. It's 50. And uh, what's the difference? Okay. So let's be must be have some standards. So, uh, let's use a standard. So if uh, from this is zero degree. So in. So that's why. So it's it's a 32 degree minus. 40.7 degrees. So, what's the answer? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, 315.3 degree. Okay, so, uh, so what's then? So we use this. If we use this zero degree and plus here, so it's one hundred degree plus fifty degree is two point thirty degree. Okay. So the degree we just use the, the same standard, the same origin to describe the degree. Okay. Because I think <laughs> we should do this. Okay. Okay, next one is acceleration vector. Okay, acceleration vector, yeah, I think I hope you remember the acceleration, acceleration vector is the derivative of velocity vector. So once again, do the derivative of each component. Uh, so what's our velocity vector? Well, velocity vector is here. Don't forget, it's velocity vector is here. And then do the derivative on each component. So what do we get? It's very simple. Mm-hmm. 0.44 J. And so what's the magnitude? What's the magnitude? So you have found the acceleration vector is independent of time. So so that means it is also constant. That means it's constant acceleration. Hmm. Acceleration acceleration. That means your component is also it's not function of time; it's constant acceleration. And so this trajectory, so this trajectory, let me see. This trajectory also come. This from analyze this trajectory function, we we learn this is a constant acceleration motion, still a constant acceleration motion because the the acceleration component is not function of time. So okay, so. So let's see what's the fifth theme mm, at magnitude. Mm, that is just a square, sum of square couple. Mm, what's a value? Oh, sorry, and then you were. So it's zero point seven six. Okay, so what's the direction? That's the mm, let's go. It's uh, x component is negative and y component is positive. So that's why it's, I think it's this quadrant. Okay, quadrant. So if they touch here, zero point. 62.44 uh, for the tangent theta is mm, okay, okay, yeah. let me check if I calculated right okay <laughs> I'm afraid I'm calculated wrong tangent theta is 0.44 mm. so so this is arctangent function 35.6 degree mm. 
degrees. So this is 35.4 degrees. So if we use this uh, standard, this is a zero degree. So what's the angle? I think as well is 180 degree minus 35.5 degree. So, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay, that's 1.144.6 degree. Okay, so, so this is example calculation of the acceleration and uh, acceleration and the velocity vector from the position vector. Okay. So we just use a little derivative rule. So I hope you can understand this. Just uh, the derivative use rule used in this, used in this class is, is is simple. So I hope you can. I believe you can handle it. Okay. So here's the video. So see you next video. Bye bye. Bye bye. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm.